Hi, this is Cindy Knuckles, and I'm here to show you how to use my brush set creases. And I've opened several papers, and I've made copies of each of those because I don't want to use my originals. Um, and of course, I've got my um, brush crease brushes already loaded in my brushes palette, and I'm ready to go. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, in my layers palette, I'm going to go ahead and make a dupe, or not a duplicate, a um, blank new blank layer. So I don't want to stamp or brush right onto my paper because in case I don't like something and I can't undo it. Okay now the great thing about a black paper is that you can just use white and kind of get a fun look. I know it's kind of distracting that there's already these um, black creases on here but um, there are some papers where the core of the paper is actually white and so when if you were to actually fold it and crease it the white would start to show through and so I kinda like how this looks and I you can see that the brush of course doesn't go all the way across the page so you're just gonna stamp it once and then you can extend it out and stamp it again and you can make your um, creases thicker if you want just by stamping it's more or less kind of getting carried away, but it's it's just up to you. You can build it up more like that. Okay, and so that's just easy on like the real dark colors. Okay, now this is a pink kind of a medium, and there's some dark pink in there. Again, let's make a blank layer, and again, I'm just going to use white on this because most likely a real scrap of paper would have white on the back therefore if you bent it or creased it the white would start to show through. I'm going to make this just a little bit thicker. Okay so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to make a duplicate with control or command J of my background paper um, because I'm going to add some shadows and highlights and I don't in case I end up not liking it I, I want to still have another untouched background paper. So let's just zoom in a bit. Okay, Let's go over here to my tool palette, grab the burn tool, and this is just a great way to add some shadows. And see I, if you get come up here to the top um, you can see I've set the exposure to about 31. It's, I think the default is 50 and I kind of took it down a bit and you can adjust the size of your brush here. So now you can see what happens. I've selected the background copy layer. You can see it starts to kind of add a shadow and I'm doing this below the crease line. This is going to do is kind of make it look actually bent or folded a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go back over to that same tool and click on it. And grab the dodge tool and that's going to add a highlight to the top. Just kind of gives the illusion of more of a an actual crease. Okay, you can see how it looks more like it's raised now. Okay, and now this is like a brown, so again I'm going to make a blank layer, but I'm also going to make my duplicate layer, Control or Command J. Make sure to select your blank layer when you add your crease. Um, I'm going to grab a color out of here, but then I'm going to go back here and make it even lighter. So it's more of an off-white. You're not always going to want to use white. So this is something you can kind of play by ear depending on what paper you use. And I'm going to try a different brush. And let's see, this is a real crinkled look to this. And get closer, you can see what I mean. If it's a real thick cardstock that you're bending, you'd get this kind of a crease. So again, I'm going to select now the layer, the background layer in my layers palette, and grab the burn tool again. See how that kind of is just adding a, you know, a bent, bent, and you don't have to do it everywhere along the line unless you want to. 
just up to you. And then I'm going to go grab that dodge tool. Just a few places. And you know, the more you play with this brush, the more you'll kind of know what looks right and get rid of that. See how that kind of popped it out more? Good. Okay. So, my paper's not showing up in there for some reason, but it doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> now see, here it is without the dodge and burn. So it looks a lot flatter. And now we add the paper that we've applied the dodge and burn to, and voila, you can see it looks a lot more 3D. See how that works? Okay, so that's just, I mean, it's a pretty easy with your dodge and burn tool to make the crease look more realistic. Um, another fun thing you can do with your with these brushes is you can kind of create a striped paper or striped background. So I just put some black in and a new layer and I'm going to go to my brushes. Try to make this more straight. Okay, there we go. This is kind of a real faint brush, so let's try a thicker one. Just another different thing you can do. Ugh, I'm having an issue here getting this straight. Well, it doesn't have to be straight. Well, that's way off. Okay. And I already did it before for you, so see something like that. You just do all kinds of things. So it's just fun. It's just fun little brushes. Another thing that um, is great is they they work really well to make um, borders around your page. Yeah. There we go. Of course it's not it's not gonna be perfect, but it's alright. Something human about it. <laughs> so anyway, that's just another thing you could do. You could also put it around a photo. So I hope that gives you a few ideas and if you have any more questions, just go ahead and fire them my way and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you very much and have a great day.